welcome back to another video as you can see we have another solar air conditioning unit the outdoor unit is being set up we're actually wrapping the insulation on the copper pipes protecting the insulation making sure that it doesn't get crystallized So our white cable here, this is the power cable from the uh, grid. This connects back to the grid. This black cable is a cable that comes from the outdoor unit to the indoor unit or the evaporator. And then we have here our PV wires, right? So when the unit is not using grid power, it will be getting all the power from the solar array which these wires are coming directly from those solar panels on the roof. One of the things that we're gonna do is to test the voltage coming in from the solar array. And uh, we're gonna disconnect. So we just disconnected the DC power on the array setup. I'm gonna flip that back on. 222, 223 volts DC. Each panel is rated at 41 volts. Open circuit voltage on each panel is 41 volts. So we're getting roughly 37 volts out of, you know, on average from each panel. We're using six monocrystalline panels. They're rated at 340 watts each. This unit requires 100 volts DC to 380 volts to operate. So this figure is nice in the middle, 225 volts now, 226. So, you know, this is fairly decent. Not the best sky conditions today. However, it's good for our testing to show you exactly how it would work in a cloudy or overcast situation. So we had the cloud moving a bit. We were getting 1200 watts before, but it seems as if another cloud just came across and blocked the sun again. But typical example, you know, for persons who consistently ask about, you know, the grid and the array, while you're getting sufficient power from the panels, then it will lower what it needs from the grid. And vice versa. If it's not getting sufficient power from the panel array, it will pull more from the grid so it all depends but for right now sky conditions are not perfect but um, yeah as the clouds move and allow more sunlight to hit those panels you see the increase we have that last bit of cloud moving away from the sun and as you can see it's now increase the wattage from that PV array to 1280 watts and all that is pulling from the grid now is just 20 watts so as we get more sunlight we get more power from those solar panels and then it, there's less dependency on the grid so we can pretty much shut off the grid power at this point and just rely solely on power from the solar panels. We disconnected the solar panels. So it pulls what it needs. So it's taking 1300 watts from the grid not too long ago. It just reconnected 
the solar panels and here's what's happening again there's some other features in you can always control the air conditioning unit through the app you can control it remotely from wherever you are over data connection or Wi-Fi um, but yeah there's some other cool features added in so as soon as you get your air conditioning unit you can easily download the app and start testing out